Well, if you have been checking the AI news lately, then you might have heard a lot about Anthropic or basically Claude. And Anthropic is becoming pretty popular right now as opposed to its competitors like OpenAI or Gemini and so on. Anthropic on the other hand is becoming quite popular due to its AI model named Claude. But recently, after a few iterations, Anthropic launched their new AI model called the Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Now you might wonder, just like any other AI model, how does this differentiate from them? Well, there's a specific feature in Anthropic's new release of the Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which makes it stand out from the other AI model-based LLMs. So I could go on talking about all its new features, but I'm going to talk about only the most important one, which is computer use. As you can see here, they launched something on 22nd October, which is introducing computer use, a new Claude 3.5 Sonnet and Claude 3.5 IQ. So let's just go ahead and read about this. So we could talk about everything that's here, but trust me, the one that only matters is computer use right here. So let's just go through this article a little bit. So today we are announcing an upgraded Claude 3.5 Sonnet and new model Claude 3.5 HiQ. The upgraded Claude 3.5 Sonnet delivers across the board improvements over its predecessor with particularly significant gains in coding, an area where it already led the field. Well, do, do remember that Claude especially has been very popular when it comes to software engineering or coding as opposed to other things. For example, you would use ChatGPT for other purposes like rewriting your article or creating a case study, researches, generating images and so on. But Claude especially has been very good in the coding field. I think that's where they're pretty much specializing on. So Claude 3.5 HiQ matches the performance of Claude 3 Opus, which is their previous largest model, on many evaluations for the same cost and similar speed for the previous generation of HiQ. So now, this is the most important part. We're also introducing a groundbreaking new capability in public beta, which is computer use. So basically, as the name suggests, computer use, Claude basically is going to be able to use your computer and perform tasks for you. So basically, it's going to be able to open your browser, do any sort of searching, perform any type of actions, and keep on iteratively doing that until it gives you your final result. So for example, let's say if you have a particular SVG or a image, let's say this SVG, the logo of Anthropic. And if you told Claude that I want the SVG code of this Anthropic logo right over here, then what Claude would do is it would utilize computer use to go through a series of actions to finally give you what you desire, which is the SVG code of this logo. And how it would do that? It would do that by first taking a screenshot of your desktop. So once it takes a screenshot, it would then see that do you have Google Chrome, like Google Chrome or any sort of browser. If you do, then it's going to click on Google Chrome. Then after it clicks on Google Chrome, the Chrome browser is going to open. Then it's going to search for Anthropic in the search bar all by itself. Then when Anthropic opens up, it's going to go to its logo part over here. It's going to right click over it. And then maybe it's going to open the link in a new tab or save it or something like that. And it's going to perform all of these individual actions that a normal user would do to finally get to the part where it actually generates the SVG code of this logo for you. So if you actually go into this experimental beta version and burn some cash because this entire process of computer use utilizes a lot of tokens, it can be a little expensive. So if you actually go through that entire process, it will actually show you screenshots of what it is doing, such as taking a screenshot of your desktop, then clicking on Google Chrome, then Googling Anthropic, then right clicking on the logo and doing all of that steps. It's actually going to show you all of that and it's going to keep on going in an infinite loop until it gives you your desired output. Now, isn't that cool? So available today on the API, developers can direct Claude to use computers the way people do by looking at a screen, moving a cursor, clicking buttons, and typing text. So this AI is going to do all of these parts that you would usually do on your own. And Claude 3.5 Sonnet is the first frontier AI model to offer computer use in public beta. At this stage, it is still experimental, at times cumbersome and, and error prone. We are releasing computer use early for feedback from developers and expect the capability to improve rapidly over time. So of course, it's not the best yet, it's still experimental, but the fact that it can still do all of this, such as moving your own cursor without you having to do it, then clicking any sort of buttons on the page and typing on the browser or any sort of text anywhere, that is just crazy to think about because you wouldn't be doing any of that on your own. An AI agent would be doing that for you. And this is actually live and there in this open world right now. It blows my mind to think how far we have come and how much further we can go and what more is possible. So as you can see here, Asana, Canva, Cognition, DoorDash, Replit, 
and the browser company have already begun to explore these possibilities, carrying out tasks that require dozens and sometimes even hundreds of steps to complete. So for example, Replit, and if you don't know what Replit is, Replit is similar to Code Sandbox or Stack Blitz, where basically it's just a cloud development environment where you can code and see your output right then and there, rather than having to create your entire project setup. So Replit is using Cloud 3.5 Sonnet's cap capabilities with computer use and UI navigation to develop a key feature that evaluates apps as they are being built from their Replit agent product. So this upgraded uh, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet is now available for all users. Starting today, developers can build with the computer use beta on the Anthropic API, Amazon Bedrock, and Google Cloud's Vertex AI. So I would really suggest you to utilize this computer use features via the Anthropic API and check how far you can go with this feature. So the new Cloud 3.5 IQ will be released later this month. So as you can see here, it shows the comparison between the latest Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and the IQ versus the old Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and the GPD or Gemini models. So here in the graduate level reasoning, of course, as you can see here, the 3.5 Sonnet performs the best as compared to all the other models and it has a significantly higher rating as compared to the other ones. And in coding, it's going so much further, maybe 93.7% makes me wonder how soon it's going to reach 100% and actually show maybe something close to human level intelligence. And I must say, in my day-to-day -day job, even I use a lot of these LLM tools in my code editor itself. So basically, I use Cursor, and in Cursor, I use the Anthropic key to utilize Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. And I must tell you how good this is at refactoring your code or, or basically reading your entire file and then suggesting you the next piece of code that you're about to write. And every time I write a function, before even having to complete it, it already suggests me, based on the name of the function, that what I want to create the function on. And that is really super cool, and the accuracy is also pretty amazing. I must say, it's really improved my development time and development speed, and I'm able to deliver things much faster. So, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet Industry-Leading Software Engineering Skills the updated Cloud 3.5 Sonnet shows wide-ranging improvements on industry benchmarks with particularly strong gains in agent coding and tool use tasks. Then if you read throughout this, it talks about how it has improved in certain benchmarks for software engineering especially. And then here it says early customer feedback suggests the upgraded Cloud 3.5 Sonnet represents a significant leap for AI-powered coding. And I'm not kidding when they say this because even the old Cloud 3.5 Sonnet used to perform so well, especially when you use it in your code editors. Trust me, it's really a very smooth process and it helps you write code so much more faster. Just that as a software engineer, you should also take it upon yourself to understand that code once the AI generates it for you. Because, of course, you don't want to be pushing things into production without understanding what they, what they mean. Because sooner or later, you will be running into a bug. And if you don't understand what that piece of code does, then you wouldn't be able to fix that bug as fast as you possibly could had you understood the code beforehand. So here you can see GitLab, which tested the model for DevSecOps tasks, found it delivered stronger reasoning up to 10% across use cases with no added latency, making it an ideal choice to power multi-step software development processes. Well, that's pretty cool. And then here it talks about how all the other companies have benefited from Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. And if you go down here, it says, as part of our continued effort to partner with external experts, joint pre-deployment testing of the new Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model was conducted by the US AI Safety Institute and the US Safety Institute as well. So they're claiming that this AI model is safe, which of course every AI model out there does. But yeah, these companies have a heavy monitoring system and a lot of testing done to make sure that they dial these models down to ensure that we don't misuse it by giving it a wrong set of actions. And especially considering the fact that computer use is a new feature that is supposed to be coming out soon in the near future for everyone out there, not just in beta. So this is something that really needs to be heavily monitored because an AI agent, which is not you, is using your computer. Like you do realize what that means, right? That somebody, that somebody else is going to be using your computer and they're going to have access to every piece of information on your computer. So things like this really need to be monitored very carefully. And even when computer use launches completely, I would still say not to give it your banking or stock related information because of course, you never know what bug or error it could throw itself upon. And it's not a good idea to use something else other than yourself to work on your finances, especially when you don't know what it could do without even your permission. So with that in mind, they also say, we also evaluated the upgraded Cloud 3.5 Sonnet for catastrophic risks and found that 
ASL to standard as outlined in our responsible scaling policy remains appropriate for this model. So they are just claiming that they are hitting all the marks with respect to the safety of this model, claiming that the safety of the model is at par or is inclined with all the different standards present out there. So I really suggest you to go ahead and utilize this experimental computer use feature and based on your different experiences, I would really love to hear about all of them in the comment section right below. So with that, that's all for this video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more.